Utah's known to have the greatest snow on earth, and I kind of think it might be true. I want to talk to you guys today about the three ski resorts in Ogden Valley, which is just an hour north of Salt Lake City, super easy to get to, and the three ski resorts give you tons of options for skiing. I'm Stacy Christofferson with the C4 Real Estate Team and Coldwell Banker. Be sure to hit the like button below and hit subscribe to join our growing community of people learning about living in Northern Utah, playing in Northern Utah, and buying and selling real estate in Northern Utah. So the first ski resort that I wanna to talk to you about today is Snow Basin Ski Resort. If you know anything about skiing or you've been in Utah, of course you've heard of it. Again, about 45 minutes northeast of Salt Lake City. Super easy to get to. It is the closest to Davis County. So if you've purchased in Leighton, Syracuse, it's gonna be the closest resort. What I will tell you is they do sell the um, the Epic and Icon passes to Snow Basin Ski Resort, which is great because the prices are super cheap. But what it does do is the crowds are insane. On a big powder day, you can wait in line to just park your car for an hour or more. And and then once you park your car, you get up, you know, some of the lower lift lines can be anywhere from like 30 to 45 minutes. Be sure to ask um, about military discounts, season passes. They typically have deals early in the year. So coming spring, this coming spring, they'll have some like cheaper prices for season passes for the 23-24 ski season. If you are a beginner, Snow Basin's a great place to learn. They, learn. they have an amazing ski school. They've got a great, you know, what we call bunny hill. Not too steep, super wide. And so it is a great learning hill. They by far have the best lodges, super fancy, uh, very similar, well, almost exactly similar to like Sun Valley. You know, really nice, huge mountain lodges, excellent food, food, you know, in two or three different spots. There is no lodging at Snow Basin. So you either have to go down to Ogden or if you're staying in Salt Lake, obviously you have to make the drive. There are nightly rentals. Um, if you look at Snow Basin's website, they'll give you some places to look for like Airbnbs or short-term rentals, condos in Ogden Valley, Huntsville, Eden, will be your closest to snow basins. You can get um, lessons, like I said, you can get groups, you can get private lessons. And if you're a local, they do have programs for your kids, um, ski and learn. So they go every Saturday or Sunday for eight to 10 weeks and you get the equipment rental with the lessons so you don't have to keep renting equipment if you don't have it and you earn a season pass by doing that so for the kids of course you know there's there's different prices for kids for the daily rates and season passes and also for military seniors and then just regular adults the second ski resort let's pop over to eden and go to nordic valley so this is a much smaller pretty much been a mom and pop resort for years in the last couple of years it's been purchased and they're really trying to make it better they're doing an excellent job this is the mountain that i would go to i would recommend you go to if you're a beginner skier snowboarder any of those things it's a smaller mountain. They've got like the magic carpet, which is basically an escalator in the snow, which is a great place just to get your feet wet in skis or a snowboard before you go up the chair. It used to be that the mountain wasn't that big, right? So they just had um, these lower chairs, but great, great hill to, to learn on. Well, in the last year, they added a six person chair and there's some cool new runs over there, much higher. So um, that's kind of neat. We did do that over Christmas. There are some areas um, on the new section where it's kind of narrow. And so if some of those aren't beginner runs, but I would say for the most part, Nordic Valley is awesome for beginner skiers, snowboarders. They have night skiing, which is super cheap. If the kids wanna go like after school, you could pop up for the evening. It's pretty inexpensive. They have local rentals there at the resort. The food's okay. And they have a new bar, but it's super small. Think like, well, the size of a decent sized kitchen. <laughs> for the size of the bar. So they do the RFID cards. You will save money if you purchase tickets online ahead of time. And if you go to the link below that I 
posted for Nordic, it takes you to a calendar and it will tell you exactly how much it is for whatever day you wanna ski. Purchase your tickets ahead of time and then when you get there, you, you go get the RF, RFID card and you plug in the code that they give you to that card and that's your pass. It's reusable, so keep it. You can use it next time you go up. Again, you get a discount for ordering those online versus like walking up to the window and, and getting those. The third resort I want to tell you about is Powder Mountain. Previous video for Powder Mountain, if you go to Living in Northern Utah, which is my YouTube channel and search Powder Mountain video, so that one is gonna show you the drive up. If you do not have a good winter car, um, four wheel drive is a must. Chains sometimes are required. Rear wheel drive cars, 100% do not recommend on a snowy day. Powder Mountain Road is one lane up, one lane down, very steep and on bad weather days, it is sketchy. Again, the link is posted down below for ticket prices. You will want to order your tickets ahead of time online and same thing, you get the RFID card when you get there and that's reusable. On powder days, just like anywhere at any ski resort, it's super crowded. So the chairs open at nine, get there early so you don't have to stand in line for your, what I call ticket, but basically again, they give you the card. The cool thing about those cards at Powder Mountain, you can put them in any pocket. You don't have to have them exposed or flapping in the wind and they can scan it. Powder Mountain has three places to eat on the mountain. The powder keg is our favorite. They have ramen soups down there and rice bowls and that's where you can get a nice cold beer if that's what you want. Sometimes they have live music. And then upstairs, this is at the Timberline Lodge, upstairs is like your you know, cheeseburgers, lucky slice pizza, stuff like that. Powder Mountain does have night skiing. It's a pretty nice night skiing hill. I will tell you, um, Powder Mountain is not awesome for beginners. Their teaching hill is pretty steep and it's that T-bar, you know, where you grab the little handle and you have to manage your skis and your poles and grab it and then you go up and you have to let go. It's a little bit treacherous for beginners. If you've never skied before, the T-bar is tough. And this, the, the hills, which are at the night skiing, um, at, they're at sundown. That's where night skiing is and that's also where the beginner lessons are. It's kind of steep. So um, if you've never skied or snowboarded before, I highly recommend going to Nordic first and then venturing out. Nordic's also gonna be your cheapest cheapest option. Powder Mountain does have lodging. Because of the drive, it's nice to have lodging at Powder Mountain. That is a super brief overview of the ski resorts in Ogden Valley. Of course, there's a ton of ski resorts if you go south down to Salt Lake. If you have any questions about real estate, specifically Ogden Valley or anywhere else, there's a couple ways when you're ready that we can help you. You can hop on our Instagram page, which is at c 4 Cells Utah. Subscribe to this YouTube channel where we do all kinds of informational videos. And then the first link in the description below is a link to my calendar where you can click on it and just schedule a consultation call where we can talk about buying, selling, or just answering any of your questions. Um, until then, have a great day.